So there's this website called Social Blade that gives a channel a grade based on how influential their channel is. It measures views, subscribers and lots of other things. Also subscribe to give me a better grade. To start this off we're going to check my channel. I mean, I'm not totally surprised. C plus for my channel isn't that bad. Those views and subs are really going down though. My estimated revenue is low, but I reckon it's good for only 1000 subs. My country rank is good. And yes I live in Australia. My goal is to get a B by the end of 2023, if it's possible. Now, let's go to the next person. If he is a B then I don't think I can get a B by the end of next year. He's probably the biggest B Swarm channel and I don't think we're going to see any B Swarm channels get an A since there's just not a big enough audience and B Swarm and your views go towards your grade. Good increase in views. Subs are um, well something. And really good rankings. This is a pretty solid channel. Oops the B is another one of the biggest B Swarm YouTubers. He also gets a B, but as we've talked about no B Swarm channels are going to get an A so he's doing pretty good. Again, good views, decent subs coming in and really good rankings. He's also from Australia like me. There are also charts below which show their views and at what times but it's similar for most B Swarm YouTubers so I'm not going to show it. The views spike at Beesmas and go down through the year. Let's go to the next person. And it's another B. If anyone would get a B plus it should be Yarix. Just look at all these stats. Over 1.5 million views in the last month which is more than everyone we've looked at including me combined. Currently, I would say Yarix is the biggest B Swarm YouTuber. Mainly because he's one of the only B Swarm channels that consistently uploads and has uploaded B Swarm through the whole year when there's been basically nothing. So overall again good rankings and stats. Now next person. Elal doesn't really upload so a B- isn't surprising. I mean, he doesn't actually have anything to do, as he has already probably broken every record and his channel is breaking records and doing crazy things. I'm sure we'll probably get a video of him getting the Robo Challenge world record at Beesmas anyway so don't worry. He's still got 100,000 views. And good rankings again. He's also from Australia. Next person. Now, Banana is another one of the current Big B Swarm YouTubers. He has consistently uploaded through this year and although he has a B- he's still pretty good. He has over 250,000 views, good rankings and somehow negative 54,000 views in a week in November. Because that's just possible you know. Let's move on. Zap player gets a B which is pretty good for him. He only has 26,000 subs but has consistently uploaded B Swarm content for over a year now. He is also one of the current biggest B Swarm YouTubers in my opinion. He has grown a lot in this year and will most likely continue to grow throughout the years to come. He has over 450,000 views in the past 30 days and is gaining subscribers fast. His rankings are good. Let's move on. Super Williams World gets a B. He hasn't been uploading B Swarm content much recently but he used to be one of the biggest B Swarm YouTubers so I thought I should include him on here. He says he doesn't want his channel to be mainly focused on B Swarm. He has over 400,000 views and has decent rankings. Now to the next YouTuber.
SD Mittens is a Roblox YouTuber and gets a B-. While she focuses a lot on other games on Roblox, her main game that she has played on her channel for years is B Swarm. She is one of the all-time biggest B Swarm YouTubers. She has nearly 150,000 views in the last 30 days, and has good rankings. She's also from Australia. I don't know why so many B Swarm YouTubers are in Australia but okay. Time to go to the next person. AR Roblox receives a B- as well. He rarely uploads though but has over 50,000 subscribers. He is most well known for spending heaps of honey on royal jelly and getting nothing. He has over 100,000 views, but his subscribers aren't really changing. He has decent rankings. Let's hope that he comes back and uploads more in the upcoming Beesmas update. Now to the next YouTuber. And Guppy Plays is another B Swarm YouTuber with a B minus. He sadly hasn't uploaded in 9 months. Hopefully that changes when Beesmas comes out and he has new items to make content on. He is most well known for his journeys to different items. He has just under 50,000 views and has decent rankings. He is stuck at his amount of subscribers though. Now to the next YouTuber. Once again another YouTuber gets a B-. Critical HD is a YouTuber whose video style I partly took inspiration from. He left YouTube for like half a year and then just turned back up again about a month ago. He has over 80,000 views, a small increase in subscribers and decent rankings. Let's hope that he doesn't just disappear again. Now to the next person. This is to be the 100th B- in a row. Simply Addicted has been uploading decently throughout this year averaging 1-2 to two videos every month. He has over 60,000 views and also having a small increase in subscribers. His ranking are pretty decent and his videos have good quality. Time to go to the final YouTuber. What else can I say? It's a B-. Hero BSS is well known for his documentary style videos and when is, um, his grandpa guesses B types. Anyway, he has just over 80,000 views, and he also has good rankings. I think I've said that a thousand times this video. He has good quality videos and last uploaded a month ago. Now to the next, oh wait, it's the end of the video. 